Well, uh, Elon also said that uh, AI will hit uh, people like an asteroid and sees that as a real serious threat to humankind. To, you you disagreed with this. Well, I mean, he thinks a lot about technology. Right. I think a lot about computing. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't present myself as an AI expert, though I've probably written 50,000 lines of code in my life, uh, b dating from the mid 70s, early to mid 70s. That's how old I am. So I'm, I think a lot about computers. I remember what people said about intelligence in computers, artificial intelligence. You know, the, the Turing test was a big metric at the time. We've blown so far past the Turing test, yet people still, the Turing test for those who might not remember, is if you can have a conversation with an interface and not know that it's a computer giving you those responses, then that counts as artificial intelligence. Okay? Uh -huh. That's basically okay. the foundation of a Turing test. What has happened is- And today that doesn't really apply. Of course, because we've blown past it. Yeah, we've blown past we've it. We've blown yeah. past it, right. okay? I, a version of that Turing test, back in the 70s, there was a program called LISA, which intelligently would interact with the, your, your syntax. You would say, LISA, I'm not feeling too well today. Why aren't you, why do you think you're not feeling well today? Mm -hmm. It would just revert it back, and it would be a it would be a session with a a, a, psychi a psychiatrist, right? Um, well, I just came from home, and well, tell me about your mother. <laughs> and it was it would just ask. It knew enough to piece these bits together, yeah. and so we've blown way past it. And then you know, uh, computers do all of our calcu calculating when it. Computer did my long division instead of me. I didn't freak out and say, oh my gosh, it's gonna take over the world. That's the end of the world. I don't go running for the hills. I said, let's use it. Now I don't have to do long division. Right. And every problem we confronted in astrophysics, we were taking computers to the limit of their abilities. And as computer power improved, we let it do it and we would then take it to another level. Hmm. And if there's some task that I can program a computer to do, you damn straight I'm gonna have the computer do it. So now computers show language abilities. Now somehow everyone's freaking out because <laughs> it can do language when it's been doing math brilliantly for the past 100 years, no, 70 years. Yeah. So it's reached, AI's reached into zones where people didn't think computers would ever reach. Right. And they're freaking out. Yeah. I'm saying if, if chat GBT can write, then let it write the stuff that nobody else wants to write. Let it write everything that was never signed by the person who wrote it, like mm. travel brochures, <laughs> like <laughs> instruction manuals. <laughs> right. Give it the stuff that we didn't want to do in the first place. And I, I, the fact, why we fear that. By the way, any technology we should fear. Yes, of course. When computers could calculate gravitational forces, they're the nefarious people, what well, basically every country would now calculate trajectories for missiles mm -hmm. using computers. Yeah. That is AI with the capacity to be highly destructive. I, I'll call it AI because it was stuff humans couldn't do at the time. It was superhuman that it can calculate missile trajectories around the world for intercontinental ballistic missiles. So the, this would be AI possibly ending civilization. Well, yeah, I don't People know. People say you, we have uh, smart computers and the internet, and you know what? You know what AI will never know? What's that? Something that's not on the internet. <laughs> yeah. Okay. 